Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JM Ventures. I'm Matt. And Jody. And we're here back at the Banff Gondola here at Banff National Park. It's now the winter, and we're going to check out can you still do fun things up here? And if you're hungry, are you hungry? I'm hungry. We're going to go check out the Northern Lights Buffet at the top of the hill. So I hope you're ready to go on this adventure with us because I'm ready to go adventuring. Let's do this. Yeah. Now another option for getting up here uh, to the gondola is taking the bus, which is right behind me here. There are multiple places you can catch the bus along the different hotels downtown and even all the way at the train station because at the train station, that's another place you can park for free. Uh, there is only four hour parking up here. So if you wanted to stay up here all day, I would suggest parking down by the train station and riding the bus up. I do believe, now correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe that if you have the gondola ticket, you get to ride the bus for free but I don't remember correctly. So I'm gonna have to put the notes in below once I get home here. Right, so once you arrive, you can actually buy tickets here if you didn't pre-purchase them. Right behind me, there's a ticket booth, but uh, there's also a ticket booth inside where it's a little bit warmer. It is a little bit colder today because it is winter and snow and cold. So yes, you can buy tickets when you get here. You can also purchase them online, which they are cheaper if you purchase online. Just wanted to note that actually we bought ourselves a bundle pass for today. I don't know if it's a bundle. It has the gondola and it has the buffet at the Northern Lights restaurant at the top, all included in one price for $104. You can make the reservation separately by booking the gondola ticket and by booking the restaurant completely separate. All right, so when you come in, right away on the right side here is the lineup to actually go up the gondola. And uh, it doesn't take that long. This is actually where you can purchase the tickets to go on up, as I can see. I was telling you, today is about $72 to go up. Now the price for me this morning when I was looking was about $67, $69. So not that much more by buying it here, but some days it can be significant by like 10 or $15. So definitely if you can just purchase it in advance, then save yourself a few dollars. Now, as you can see the line up there, there, you can't just walk up to the line and go up when you want to. There is a boarding time when you purchase your tickets and they will let you know what time to go up. And then there's a screen way back there that shows you what time you can board. Toasty fire, toasty fire. Another thing you can do is you can have some Starbucks as well uh, while you wait. But enough with showing you what you can do down here because it's our time to board and go on up. So let's go do this. hotel down there, the Rock Point Hotel, which you can stay at. It actually looks quite a nice hotel to stay at. It's very fancy on the outside. And then way down there, you probably can't see it, but the Chateau, the Fremont is down there. The Fremont Chateau, way back there, brown, hidden with all the other brown trees down there. Looks like a castle. You'd like to see us go to the Fremont and stay a night and check everything out that there is to see there. Let us know down below in the comment section because uh, that's definitely something that would be cool to go check out. Well, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. And now we're at the top of the world. Actually, not the world, but uh, this mountain. Things to do. Ooh, coffee. That's a good thing to do. Boardwalk, washrooms, and things. Well, now that we're at the top of the hill, the first thing we gotta go do is go for our reservation at the Northern Lights Buffet. So let's go check out the yummy food. Look at these beautiful views out here this morning. Beautiful snow on the top of the mountains and those trees. This is where snow belongs. There we go. Today, if you came up here, and paid on the spot, it is $45 to come in each year today. So if you did what we did and we bundled it up, you're definitely saving money by buying the two together because 45 and 72, some quick math is almost $117. 
versus I think I paid $103 online. So definitely cheaper to bundle them up. just met our amazing server, Courtney, all the way from Melbourne, Australia. So if you did find this video in the end, Courtney, you're the best, and we already enjoy having you as our server. Cauliflower, rice, alpine mac and cheese back there. Actually, you know what? That mac and cheese, that mac and cheese looks really, really good. Lemon and herb, crusted salmon, and some potatoes, some vegetables, roasted chicken. Ooh. That looks really yummy. Cottage pie. Isn't that shepherd's pie? And some eggplant summer squash bake. Mmm. You got your uh, salad bar with all the great toppings. Oop, cheese, meat. And here are your meats that you can have cut. Good cause brisket. They got brisket, honey. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be amazing. Some vegan chili, oh my goodness. And if you need some pizza on a cold day, look at that. And some hot buns back there. Sorry, thank you. Now on either side here, they do have their drink bar, which uh, over here is tea, hot chocolate, coffee. You can even get what looks like an espresso wow. and some froth and milk. That is actually, it looks like pretty enough. awesome. And then over here is your pop station. So if you need some. And last but not least, we have our dessert station. Check out, oh my goodness, it's donuts, butter tarts, carrot cake, more sugar donuts, woohoo, double chocolate fudge. Oh. And fruit if you want to be real healthy. This is all self-serve. All right, we're gonna try this soup out. I think I'm still recording. Hmm, wasn't what I was expecting. But the curry aftertaste is very nice and it's actually got a sweet taste to it at the end. So first you get like the bean or whatever the goom is. The goom is the bean, <laughs> yes. You get the bean taste first and then it comes with the turmeric taste, the curry, and then um, you get a little bit of sweetness actually. So bon appetit. This is great for a wintry day outside. I tried to try the brisket because it looked super Super juicy. Here we go. Some yummy brisket. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's yummy, but it looks very yummy. Mm. That makes me very happy. Now I put the oju sauce on top of it, and um, I don't know if you'd actually need it or not because it's very tender. With fat in there, has oh. It tastes so good. Please. Now we gotta try the cottage pie. Thank Not sure you. what makes the cottage pie compared to a shepherd's pie. If you're watching this and you know the difference between a cottage pie and a shepherd's pie, please chime in below. That tastes really good though. Pork. Or maybe it could even be the brisket that left over from the day before. That tastes really good. And we gotta try the potatoes. Roasted potatoes. Mm. Jody's taking one for the team and having the salmon. What? So I'm we're taking one for the team. See how the salmon tastes, honey? The salmon's amazing. Mm. And your review on the salmon? It's so good. It's so perfect. I think it tastes fishy. Uh -huh. <laughs> One thing I'm going to note is if you guys have allergies of any sorts, they are really good with um, navigating around that. Most of the food is all labeled, whether you have allergies to nuts, dairy, 
gluten, uh, the few other ones, vegetarian, things like that. They're all labeled. And that was our server just coming back and asking us again if everything is okay. And she was also letting us know that if there wasn't enough food on the buffet and you felt you needed something else, that they might be able to uh, make something up for you um, that might not have those other allergens in there. So top notch, you know. Mm -hmm. You never know when you go somewhere, but uh, this has been very exciting. I'm gonna enjoy some more of my food. And now it's time for high tea new. And now it's hot. <laughs> now it's time for high tea at noon. What she said. High tea at 12:25. Overall, I'm gonna have the same. I like this place. It's a good choice, especially if you're, you know, gonna be spending the whole day up here, and you need a opportunity to warm up away from the snow, or even in the summer when it's warm up here and you need to get in the AC. Great place to come. The brisket was amazing. The salmon was top notch. The salmon was top notch? Oh. I didn't eat any. You have to take her word for it. I had it for first, seconds, thirds, and dessert. Now to finish your tea. And then venture off and see what else is going on today around the top of the hill. So that is the end of our buffet experience here at the Northern Lights. I am full and I think I'm gonna have to run myself out, but I think I did have a lot of brisket. And by a lot of- I would agree. A lot Those are of big brisket. places. <laughs> they are not. They are they not. They don't skimp here. Nope, you get big slices of meat and lots of soup. And there's tons of salmon. And now I think I need to walk it off, which is really good because there's lots to explore, so. Let's uh, go upstairs and check out the rooftop. Jody is, no Jody is noticing the, the wine bottles that are in the tree. Used as the, uh, to hold the wine. I don't know if there's actually any wine in them. Doesn't look like it. And this is the Sky Bistro, which is the uh, plated sit-down restaurant that uh, I will have to try next time that we come. Now we're coming outside. Found a bear for you. And Jody found a bear. This does not count <laughs> as a bear. Jody says this is my bear sighting of the trip. He's very berry exciting. He's shiny. But now you come all the way up here to see the waving Canadian flag. Actually, no. The beautiful views down into Banff. Oh yeah, check it out. <laughs> Frosty tips. And yes. as I showed these in the summertime, they actually have them on here in the winter, which is epic. Can you actually feel the heat? I can. Yes. Let's go find out what's over here. I don't even remember walking here last time, so let's check it out. Oh, hey, the sun's over here. Oh. And a patio. Oh, I totally missed this last time. I'm assuming that this is probably where we could hang out in the summer. Have some patio drinks. Well, I tell you what, I can't stay out here as long as I could in the summer because it totally is frosty. We're going to go down and check out what's on the bottom floor. See if it's any different than what was at the top. I almost forgot we walked right by it when we first came in. But here on the second floor, at the top of the gondola, is things you can learn. So if learning is your thing, or kids like to take a look at pictures, or whatever, there's lots of cool things to check out up here. Check out these gondolas. They look a little older than the current ones they have. Jordy's gonna show us how to tie a knot here by following all these lovely instructions. <laughs> okay, because I totally follow show instructions. Us, show us how it's done. Show us how this tying is done. It's a clove hitch. Close enough. Good job. Thanks. 
Jody's practicing for her tinting adventure. Hey, look at you're sure enough to, t to walk in. I'm sure I'm not. What's in there? A light or heater? Oh, a light. Dear Grizzly Bear, it's false. I still haven't seen you. Oh, poop. Poop? Yeah, poop. Different animal poops. Jody got interested in poop. No, it's called scat. Yes, yeah, so it is poop. Scat. That's the scientific word. Scategories. Something I just noticed here, but right outside the theater and beside the stairs on level two is complimentary charging stations. So open it up, got the chargers in there, close it, and you got your key. That is actually really cool. All right, we're coming out here on floor number one. Whew, it is a bit windier now. And not many people up here. This is uh, where you can get your tickets if you have decided to hike all the way up and ride back down. And you did hear me correctly, and you could even see down there that there is a path if you feel like hiking all the way up here in the winter. Well, that is uh, something you can do and enjoy. The closest thing I'll do to hiking is I'll uh, hike to my cruise ship. <laughs> yep, I'll hike up the stairs to the pool floor and go on the water slides. Um, I might even hike over to the bar, get a drink. So those are my hiking kind of activities. I'll hike to the next food. Food, yeah. <laughs> I'll hike to the next buffet. That's, there we go. That's how it works for me. And uh, this way you can hike up to the top of the mountain, which is up there. It's about like a 10, 15 minute hike, depending on how uh, fast you go. Maybe in the snow, you might go slower. And once you're cold, and if you need some coffee, Castle Mountain Coffee's got you covered. That's right. Fresh brewed ground coffee, shots of caffeine, even fresh bakeries, even fresh cookies, including super large cookies. Cinnamon buns, sandwiches, uh, all the all the good stuff that one might want if you need a break. Soda drinks, chips, smart water. This is not a product placement, but what makes smart water smart? Is it smart if I drink it? Do I get smarter? I don't know. Kind of like Smarties, you know. And right before you go back down to the gondola, they got you covered. If you didn't see the gift shop already, you get to walk right through it. Now that I have Jody with me this time, I'm sure she's going to let me know about things she likes. I already have. Hint, hint. Look it, you can have bear, bear onesies. Oh, this one, that's cute. I don't know if I can fit into this. Might Yo, be a little behind. small. There's adult ones there? Yes, there are adult ones there. We could get matching. That sounds scary. Jody is showing that I need a new wallet. There you go. These fancy leather artistry. Yeah. Artistry. Yeah. Is that the word I'm trying and to use? And it's not falling apart. Oh, but look at this fuzzy bear. Ooh, fuzzy. Fu He's not ticklish. Wabbit. He's not ticklish like you buy your fancy soaps. Did they make them up here? I don't know. Maybe. If you forgot your mittens at home, you can buy some mittens. Mitts. Sockies, what's it, moose? <laughs> I don't know if I could have socks that got... How does that even get in your shoe? How do those even get in your shoe? This is kind of neat. Vamp gondola coffee mm -hmm. mug. I do like the collection of magnets that they got here. All right, so once you're done going through the uh, Souvenir shop. Get to go out in that nice warm cold. Not as cold, but time to go back down. That's right, the back side of Gondola. <laughs> so would you go hiking up here? In the summer. Fair enough. You but not it. in the winter. Why not? It's too cold. Though I wish they had just had like one big tobogganing hill all the way down. That would be wicked fun. Then I'd take the Gondola up and go down on the toboggan. <laughs> 
when you get on the gondola to go back down, they take your picture. Now you can say no thank you and they won't take your picture, but if you do, when you get to the bottom and you walk in the bigger souvenir shop like we're gonna do in a few minutes, you can actually get a picture Print it off or digitally sent to you uh, for costs, of course. Thanks. Check out the people walking. Keep on walking. <laughs> Keep on. Oh, <laughs> you can hike up even in costume. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Like I said before, you can buy your photo here at the bottom that they took at the top, which is really cool. And the prices are right down there. I think it's $25. Yes, it was $25 for one print. And if you want multiple prints, different prices with that there, which is really cool. Jody found some cute tea towels. Have some more fun. And there's a lot more sweaters, hoodies, shirts, cups. And we got some bears and sweaters for your little nieces, nephews, grandkids back home. We got cute sweaters. And one of the cool souvenirs. Jordi, oh, Jordi can have a gondola stuffy. Is that us in the gondola? That is. Let's see. Who's the reindeer and who's the bear? Who's that's the... you, that's me. I'm a, I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm not gonna bore everybody with showing you everything that's in the, the souvenir shop. You'll have to check it out yourself. As you can now see, you can literally walk up and get on the gondola right now. There is no lineup whatsoever. So you should be able to just walk up to the desk, purchase a ticket, on a day like today and get right on up. But it's not like that all the time, especially in the high tourist seasons, like the summer, when they were literally selling out on some days. Plus you save money if you book ahead. So make sure just to book ahead if you can. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our video today of checking out what it is like on the Banff Gondola in the winter and checking out the Northern Lights buffet. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Do remember, that depending on what time of year you go, the prices do fluctuate. So today would be like a $69 if you're buying tickets online. Uh, other times I've seen $84 and I've seen up in the 90s too. So supply and demand, definitely uh, a big thing for up here. So if you can come on a quieter time of the year, do it. Um, if you don't like snow and you think you're not gonna like it, there is lots of places to be warm up there. Well, we've made it back to the car. And that means our adventure is over for today. We just want to say thank you for joining us. We hope we've been able to entertain you a little bit here and let you know about the cool things happening around here. If you haven't, guys, already, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Click that like button. Uh, put a comment down. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions about what you've seen or that what you didn't do, uh, just chime in below and we'll get back to you. We do like to answer all our people who put in a comment. And last but not least, if you haven't subscribed, and you do like this content, make sure to do that. It helps us be able to continue to do what we do, which is traveling and all that fun stuff in between. So thank you again to all of you. Thanks thank you. for subscribing. Yeah, that's it. And until next time.